Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. So, just yesterday, some images were leaked onto the internet of the Mojo Fun 2020 line. Now, I don't know if this is their entire 2020 line, so I'm going to just mark this video as Part 2, because I did previously have a Part 1 of the first four. So, we're going to run through each and every one of these figures that just were leaked onto the internet so we're going to start with the very first one and that is a brontosaurus and i really really love this figure it is absolutely mind-blowing to me just how much mojo fun has improved over the past few years and just how beautiful of a job they are doing on their 2020 line i think the sculpt on this is fantastic the paint is also incredibly well done. Again, on promotional images, it's not exactly a perfect idea of how exactly the paint job will look and everything. You won't really be able to tell until you do see your figure in person, but honestly, from what I can see here, this is really well done. I think that the paint scheme looks perfectly like the type of paint I would like on a sauropod because me personally, a lot of people may not agree, but I like kind of duller, more darker coloration on my sauropods, and that's exactly what I like here about this one. It's got a lot of nice dark grays and stuff on it, with at the same time kind of some lighter coloration, but I think it all looks really natural. The sculpt looks beautiful, and this is definitely one of the top figures for 2020 from Mojo, in my opinion, as far as what I'm excited about. Then they are re-releasing a Baryonyx. As you can see, it's obviously not the same figure that we had previously. This is a new sculpted Baryonyx, and I think it looks really quite nice. Definitely a beautiful paint job on it. I really love the greens and the kind of squiggly black lines that come down from the back, along with that light coloration. Really natural looking, beautiful greens. I love that tone of green on this figure and then you can see there's some red up there on the top of the head this is another figure that I really won't be able to tell just how nice it is until I see it in person but I think Mojo as far as last year's line did a great job of matching up the colors on their actual factory products in comparison to what we saw in the promotional images so I'm certain this one will show up looking really beautiful just like you see here then we've got one that's kind of causing some controversy because this is their new T-Rex, or at least I believe it is. However, you can see that it definitely has a very strong likeness to the running Papo T-Rex. Me personally, I actually quite like that. I feel like it's just going to add an alternate figure of that type of a Rex. However, a lot of people don't really like it just because it was obviously heavily inspired by the Papo Rex. At the same time, there are definitely some strong differences. You can see there's kind of some osteoderms up on the back there. And I think the head shape looks a bit different than the Papo version, but this is another figure. Again, we'll have to wait until we see it in person to really be able to tell. It's got a very similar color scheme to the previous Mojo Fun T-Rex, which I was a big fan of as well. So, again, controversy for sure amongst this figure, but me personally, I really do quite like it. Then we've got a new Stegosaurus, and... Honestly, it's probably one of the weaker figures for the 2020 line, but at the same time it definitely looks to be quite nice. However, the plates aren't really that highly detailed, not exactly what I would expect, and I kind of feel like this might just be a retooled version of their previous Stegosaur, as a lot of the detail and everything looks very similar to that version. However, I really do quite like the paint scheme on it, I think it looks very flashy, but at the same time pretty darn natural. For a stegosaurus so this one's kind of 50 50 for me i do like it but just not as much as the others then we have a brachiosaurus and i don't know for sure if this is a repainted brachiosaurus or a totally new sculpted brachiosaurus as i don't have their previous brachiosaurus that they had out however i really do quite like this one i think the sculpt definitely looks quite jurassic parkish and the paint scheme is definitely interesting but i actually quite like that as well again very nice dark coloration for a sauropod and an overall beautiful Beautiful looking Brachiosaurus. Then here is actually another shot of the Spinosaurus and I only wanted to show this in this video even though we've already seen the Spino in the very first edition of this Mojo Fun line for the 2020 lineup but I really think that the figure looks a lot better when I see it here from the side as far as the sculpt and everything goes and I also actually quite like the paint job a lot better when I see it here from the side so I did want to show you guys this new image of the figure because I think it definitely looks a lot better here. Then we have a new Allosaurus, and this Allosaurus looks very similar to the previous one. However, on this one, it looks as though there is an articulated jaw. 
it is definitely positioned differently and painted differently. I definitely like the coloration of it, and I actually am a huge fan of the fact that it looks so similar to their previous Allosaurus, just because now it'll seem like you have a mating pair if you already own the other version and you get the new version. I think that is awesome. And something that you don't see too often from companies to have a figure that looks so similar to your previous version, but kind of in a different pose, I think this is really cool on the part of Mojo Fun. And here is definitely one of my favorites for this year, the Mementisaurus. Really cool choice on their part. Again, I don't know how exactly accurate it is, but at the same time it does have such a very cool, incredibly striking appearance to it. I love pretty much everything on this figure. The color again looks fantastic for a sauropod. The sculpt looks really cool. I'm quite interested to see just what the size of this figure is and everything, and I am really, really looking forward to this one. And then the final is the Ankylosaurus, and I really do think it's a pretty nice looking figure, but it's not quite in comparison to what the others have been as far as beauty goes. It's pretty darn nice, I will say that. I definitely quite like the paint job, and the sculpt looks pretty good overall. He's a very happy looking Ankylosaurus. Again, maybe not the most scientifically accurate, but at the same time, I'm such a dinosaur nerd and I'm not picky in any way, so scientific accuracy is never high up on my list, unfortunately, probably. But regardless, I still think this is a pretty cool looking Ankylosaurus, and yet another that I am excited to get a hold of. So as of right now, that's all of the figures that have officially been leaked and announced by Mojo Fun. Again, most of the list here, aside from the Spinosaurus, has not officially been announced by Mojo Fun, but I think it's pretty obvious that these are their new figures leaked online, and I really am quite happy with the lineup overall. I don't know for sure, again, if this is all of them, but I kind of feel like it might be. Regardless, they are very, very cool. So in the comments, let me know what you guys think about all of these new Mojo Fun 2020 figures, and if we do happen to get any more announcements from them as far as other figures that weren't shown here, I will be sure to let you guys know. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.